taking your tour pod at the Geneva headquarters to have a look at the new LUC Quattro. In 1996, Chopard launched the LUC collection, a haute horlogerie line with beautifully unfinished in-house movements. The first caliber they launched was the superb 1.96. Four years later, Chopin introduced the first LUC Quattro, an innovative and warm movement with four stacked barrels delivering energy for no less than nine days. Chopin's co-president, Mr. Schaffler, will tell us more about the new LUC Quattro. The LUC collection was born um, in 1996 when we launched our manufacturer project. The first LUC uh, was the 1860, which uh, was equipped with uh, the now famous first automatic caliber we presented in 1997 with a micro rotor. This caliber, in fact, was the reason why we actually uh, designed the Quattro Calibre, which was a project we called 198. We started in 98 and the watch was presented in the early 2000. Well, I immediately wanted to add a um, mechanical movement, hand wound, but with a very long power reserve. So in the 196 we already had two barrels on top of each other. The simple idea was to add another two instead of the micro rotor, at least that's what I, what I told our engineers. Um, they didn't think it was so easy, but the result is the Quattro movement, the 198, which uh, has an astonishing power reserve of over eight days. And most of all, it's uh, chronometer certified. And the fact that uh, the four barrels actually work in an, an order where they all um, they, they get they unwind at several time in several times not in stages so it's like having one big barrel in four and altogether the spring uh, is about one meter 80 long so uh, needless to say that we find a patent for all of this which we obtained and uh, the quattro still today is a unique movement in the watch industry. Well, the initial Quattro was a much smaller watch, the very first one. Then uh, we, we actually enlarged the Quattro, but it remained still rather classic looking. And uh, this Quattro here is, um, is meant to incorporate a, a more uh, a younger look for the gentleman of today, if you wish, uh, with a very uh, simple but very well finished dial with a um, beautiful brush, brushed surface, vertical brushed surface, uh, blue hands and the blue um, indexes. So it really is made for the modern gentleman of today and the young gentleman of today. And that was the, the idea of this watch, behind this watch. The initial finish of this movement did not change since it was introduced. And um, this proves that, uh, in fact, uh, the movement, the way we set it up a few years ago now, uh, really uh, still today um, shows the, the most beautiful finish you can actually have on this type of watch. Well, the movement um, was really built to, uh, to fit uh, or to, to equip rather thin watches, which I, I think everyone knows that they're making a comeback. And um, in the very beginning, I always believed that uh, movements themselves should not be too large or too high uh, in order to be able to, to have more flexibility uh, for building watches. And in this particular case, the, um, uh, the, the combination between the thickness, or the thinness rather, and the size of the watches is just perfect, and the movement fits uh, into this uh, like it was made for. 